All righty, folks, we're going to talk about why you, yes, you need to retire early. And we're going to have this conversation about a special number. And that special number is 19. Dion, tell us why 19 is such a special number. Well, actually, I kind of want to do this video for Matt, but it also applies <laughs> to you and me, Zuber. Okay. Uh, 19 is the reason why you should retire early. And if you've never thought of this, I hope that you think about it every time you see your kids or your parents going forward. Okay. In our life, generally, there are some people like me who move out when we're 15, but most of us get 18 years. So I have three kids. We have 18 years. I was a single parent. I fought for custody more than once, but I kept custody of my kids and I raised them for 18 years. They turn 18 and then do like almost every other parent in the United States should do. Happy 18th birthday. Here's your restraining order. But <laughs> Now we take the rest of our lives, and the goal, hopefully, is their lives are much longer than mine, right? So mm -hmm. for the rest of my life, I've had 18 years with my kids. The rest of my life, I'm going to get maybe game night, maybe holidays, maybe a day trip somewhere. If I'm super lucky, we'll be able to take a vacation together. But if you aggregate the amount of time that we're going to spend together, my kids and me, after they turned 18... So Matt, your kids, Zuber, your daughter, right? You're, you had the 18 years. Once they move out, you're going to get one more year if you aggregate all that time together. So the totality of time you're going to spend with your family, the, the reason for living is 19 years. If you're like me, both of my parents passed away, one about 10 years ago, one about 15 years ago. So from the time I turned 18 until then, if I looked at all the time I got to see them with deployments and moving to another state and um, them having their busy lives too, I'd be lucky to think I got a year with them mm -hmm. in the last 20, 30 years since I turned 18. A long time since I turned 18. <laughs> Had my mom not worked until she was in her 60s and my dad not worked until the literal day he died on a job site at 75. Or had I been able to retire early that last year, that one year after 18 with my kids, I'm going to turn that into three or four years. Yeah. My kids come out. We ride the ferries over to Seattle, walk the waterfront. I'm planning a cruise where I take all the kids on the cruise. I want to do these things where I can spend more time because I'm not trapped at a job. Now, they are. So my schedule is going to be like, Matt, what are you doing today? We can't go to lunch. Cool. What are you doing? Oh, I'm going to come and sit at work with you and watch what you do today. Yes. You can't do that if you're trapped in a job. Nope. Your parents, if 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 they're retired... And you work until you're 65, what are the odds, statistical odds, that they're even still around to amplify the amount of time you get with them? So if your family matters to you. Now, there's, I have the, because <clears throat> I'm making this video too, I have the statistics down on how many people are estranged from your family. Maybe this doesn't matter. How many people don't have siblings? Maybe it doesn't matter. How many people don't have kids? Maybe it doesn't matter. But most of us have parents, the majority of us. We also have siblings we want to spend time with. This, to me, is it's like that, the amount of life in your years is more important than the number of years in your life. The number of years you can spend with your family. If you can just turn 19 into 20, you've doubled the amount of time you're going to spend with your kids or your parents as adults. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when I, when I, this is why you're good at what you do because you have to create that. Why? And we all know that the season, as I'm calling it now, of of, of the grind of, of working, of climbing this hill and earning financial freedom isn't easy. But most people, I would agree with you, love their family, would love to double the time with their kids and, and parents. And assuming, again, that's true, that it is most people, that's a great why. Right? If, if you know, the ability to not only arrange schedules, but pay for potentially everyone to go on a cruise. That's awesome. As an example, taking vacations. Awesome. Uh, I could tell you that's something Olivia and I have done almost every year. Uh, certainly for the last five years is we've, we've done trips with Teresa and we've even paid for her boyfriend to come along. Um, so we, and, and we stay in the same Airbnb and, and, and we just get to see them interact and it's, 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 it's awesome. So um, folks, it's, it's worth it. If, if, if your family, like if you have kids at home and they're young, it's, it's, you've got 50, you got it. You got 10 years ahead of you. 
do the work, do the grind, have the sacrifice, live below your means, stack direct discretionary income, buy assets to cash flow, inflation's a feature, not a bug, all those things we talk about. Hopefully this why, why resonates. Matt, what would you think of that? Why? A thousand percent. I'm so glad the turds I worked for didn't like me. It was awesome. <laughs> they can suck it. I was awesome at what I did. I was elite, just like you, Mike. So the problem that Mike, you and I have, because we're broken, right? Uh -huh. Once doing, you know, $100 million product from zero, once, mm -hmm. awesome, right? Twice, all right. I like myself. I'm a pretty sharp guy. Wonder if I can do it again. Yeah, yeah, I think I can do it again. Let's do it again. And then the third time you're like, okay, now I know I can do this. Now it's, I know. It's not, I think. It's now, I know I can do it again, just like an investor with their third house, right? Yep. I know I can do it again. Do I want to do it again? And for me, that was where I was at. I literally had that conversation with Ashley and I said, I know I can blow the product up. No doubt in my mind. No, I can. I've done it twice. Yeah. So it's not lucky anymore. Yeah. Do I want to? And that was the conversation I had with myself because I said, I've got a six-year-old, a four-year-old, a two-year-old, and a five-month-old. Yeah. My four-year-old goes to five days a week next year. My three-year-old is in school or my two-year-old will be three and she'll be in school next year for three days a week. And my five-month-old, <clears throat> she'll be home. However, if I did it again, Mike, you know that that job takes between two and three years. Oh, yeah. It usually takes about three years to get it it's, running like that. But it's, it's three right, years. Yeah. It's three years of smash your forehead against the wall, insane hundred-hour weeks everywhere in the world. <clears throat> that's what that's going to take. Building the infrastructure, getting all of the different pieces moving from product development to, to services, mm -hmm. to sales, to support staff. It's, it is a killer job. Very few people can do it. And that's why we get paid so well to do it, but mm -hmm. very few people can do it, but we get paid really well to do so. However, you are selling three years of your life away and it's not three 40 hour work weeks. It's not three years of 40 no. hour work weeks. It's 190 to 100 hour work weeks. It's six days a week. You're and even always on. The seventh on. Day, yeah. You're all exactly. Even on the seventh day, you might not be on a plane, but you're still on and you still have things in your back of your mind that have to get done because you're like, I got to hit the ground running. And so my choice was do that for three more years and then show up and have my son be nine, my daughter be seven, my other daughter be five them all be in school five days a week and my next one going into three days a week of school. And I just missed yeah. it. Yeah. And so for me, that was very easy math. It didn't matter if they doubled my salary. It didn't matter if they gave me a piece of the company again, didn't matter. I was just like, I'm not going to put three years in like that because yeah. the other thing it was too. And a lot of people miss this. It wasn't just about my kids. It's about my wife. Mm -hmm. It's about my wife. You know, I want us to spend time together. So I purposely make sure that we go out on a, on a good date night, you know, every few weeks, just us. Yeah. And then some special event within every, you know, six weeks, that stuff is of critical importance. And, you know, I think Dion's statement of, you know, you're going to be around in five years, should start investing like it. Yeah. It doesn't just depend on buildings. It's your family. It's your friends. Invest in them. We all talk outside of YouTube. We all talk yeah. outside of YouTube. We spend time with each other. Wouldn't wouldn't trade that for anything. Wouldn't trade it for anything. You know, you yeah. guys have done what I've done. I've done some of what you've done. And having that system where we can have that conversation is really important. Yeah. One of the things that, you know, I mean, if you go back to selling, right, Matt, what you and I did, uh, you can sell vitamins or you can sell aspirin. And if you guys don't know, it's a lot easier to sell aspirin. Right. Mm -hmm. It's just it just is uh, one of the things that that at least I struggle with, and I'm sure you guys do as as well, is is trying to inspire people to to look themselves in the mirror, mirror and, and sign up to do hard things. Right. This yeah. do the work hat that I wear all the time is because it just is what it is. Right. If you're going to become elite at something, you got to become unbalanced. You got to become focused. You got to just you just got to go. Yeah. And. I'm oh, I'm personally always struggling with the stories about how can the why be big enough that you keep going? And it's this has bothered me for years. I wrote my second book because the why, right? My second book, which Dion narrated, 15 Conversations with Real Estate Millionaires. I went out and collected 15 different stories because yes, one rental at a time is amazing. We've all done it at some level, but it's not the only story. Mm -hmm. 
right? So I'm trying to, I was trying to document other stories with that second book, but I love, I, I think this is a great why. I think it will land with a lot of people. And again, you're right. How would you like to be in a position that after the season of growing, you can double the time with the people you love? I think it's genius, Dion. And, and so that's the 19, because it's that year above 18. And I want people to think of the last couple of years. And, and some of the, I mean, it's sarcastic when they come at me with, I'm super mean to Matt. I'm super mean to Mike. Because <laughs> as somebody who was working on financial freedom, found one rental at a time, developed those strategies to make work optional and then retire. So I retired in 2022. So since then, I have sent images to <laughs> um, Matt every day of the Pink Panther sleeping. That, and that came, that came quite often. Right. Yeah. And so people would say, well, why would you be so mean to somebody when they're working and they enjoy their job? I'm like, no, 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 you're missing out the point here. So yes, if we if we think of the number 19 and we reach financial freedom, we make work optional. You double the amount of time with your adult kids. The first video that we did was tripling the amount of life in your years. Matt has tripled the amount of life in his kids' years for those first 18. You yeah. talked about it in the other video, taking kids to school and Let's let's look at the other benefit of most parents spend time with their kids when they're in those five exhausted hours. Yeah. Have you been exhausted in the last six weeks? Only from my kids. Only from your kids, right? There you go. <laughs> Sorry. I literally the turn of oh, you're exhausting right now. Exhausting <laughs> right now. Yeah, but you bounce Saturday. back quick. You bounce yeah, back. Well, quick. yeah, that's I was just like. And literally I follow up with, but man, I love it. Man, uh, it's awesome. It's so, so, so good. I was, I waited late in life to have kids. I was a 40 year old dad. That was when I had my first kid. I was 40. So I've got. I was on I the other still, side of that. 19. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was. And it's, you know, so it's diapers and it's crying babies and it's all of this other stuff. But it was like, again, I think we make it a lot about the kids, but it's really about spouses. You know, yeah. for my wife, my wife, me signing up for three years wasn't just me missing my kids and my wife. It was my wife missing more of my help with the kids. Yeah, it's funny. I, I hadn't thought about this in a long time. I've, I've communicated many times that I was a weekend away from getting a job. Mm. I paid part of the company, basically take yet another widget from, you know, very little to a lot. Mm -hmm. And I almost said yes. Mm. And I, rem I, I, it's, I remember sitting at the table, A, feeling like a loser because I was seriously considering getting a job. But also, it's like there's just so much else out there. And I wanted to see what else was there. And I don't mean stuff. Mm -hmm. People follow me. It's not about stuff. I'm not trying to flash. It's just like. What else can I take this broken human being who's maniacal and focused and can do these couple of things? What else what else can we what else can we do? And I I, I hope more people have that epiphany. Like, all right, I'm gonna grind, I'm gonna work, you know, for a decade or eight years or twelve years or whatever. And then I'm gonna find out at 41 or 53 or 61. Even if even if you're in your 60s and you earn financial freedom, you still in today's day and age, you probably still have 20 years of relatively good health yep. to go have a positive impact on the world. Leave the world in a better place than you found it. Yep. You know, I heard Kobe Bryant say that about basketball one time. He was always hoping to leave basketball in a better position uh, before he before he moved before he retired. Uh, I think we should all do that as human beings. What do you think, Dion? So. Uh, um, often I don't go very cerebral, but I'm going to attempt it here. Uh -oh. I am a firm believer in low cards law, low cards law stating that no two objects can encounter each other without leaving a trace of themselves behind. And this goes down to the way we live our lives as well. If you are working a high stress job, trying to spend time with your friends or family or your kids, right? Your, your friends and family and your kids. And you have this mountain of stress on your shoulders that you don't even know exists because you say things like, I love my job. Hmm. And then someone cuts you off in traffic. <laughs> You might not be a road rage person, but there's some there. yelling and screaming and name calling and you maybe try to cut them back off. 
Versus if you are relaxed, you've reached financial freedom, you're pursuing your actual passion, which can be anything. It can be being lazy like me, which my my low cards effect is going to be. I'm trying to make more people lazy like me. <laughs> but if you are more relaxed and you're on your way to go and see your friend and watch him in court and somebody cuts you off in traffic, something that simple, your reaction is probably not a tenth of what it was oh, when you yeah. were thinking, I have five minutes to get where I'm going. My kid's waiting on me. I've got to get back to this. Whatever the work thing was. Imagine how good the world is mm -hmm. if people have jobs they want instead of jobs they have to have. And then their positive atmospheric personalities are impacted by low cards law. And we can actually spread that in everything that we do. That's that whole pay it forward thing. That doesn't happen when you're stressed out. Agreed. We're going to have another conversation. We're going to tease it as the Count of Monte Cristo. Uh, we'll leave that for video number three. But before we do, Matt, where can people find you? Lumberjack Landlord on YouTube and Instagram, 1130 a.m. Eastern time on Sundays. We're hanging out. There you go. And Dion, find you. Right here on YouTube, Dion Talk Financial Freedom. Thank you very much.